Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you watched the last video, um, I did a little um, meteor mini adventure around my local area in southwest Western Australia. Um, today I'm going to do a Himalayan mini adventure and it's going to be more kind of off-roady. Still some good um, paved roads as well but we'll find some trails as well around the area and you can see what it's like to live around here and to own your bike and ride around here. Here we are somewhere deep in the Wellington National Park. Um, it's absolutely beautiful around here and this is the middle of winter. In fact if it was the middle of the summer we'd be getting burned and by the sun and eaten alive by insects but actually it's beautiful today um, compared to what it was um, a couple of days ago when I was out. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, let's have a little look around here. Now you might be thinking that uh, the trees in the Wellington Forest here are all hundreds and hundreds of years old and at one time they were up until um, Europeans came along and cut them all down. Most of what you see around here is regrowth. They were chopping these things down and one still are. Um, up until recently they still are chopping them down in a lot of cases but some of them not very many of them, but some of them survived. And we're going to have a look at one of them. Now this one is known in these parts as the King Jara. Jara is the name of the tree. It's a eucalypt, of course. And it is pretty big. And there's very few of these old growth uh, trees left. Everything, virtually everything, was clear felled. And there's a very good reason why this one stayed. If we walk around here, it's hollow. And I imagine 
that was too dangerous to chop down or this would be gone. So this tree, I would say, is 500 years old. This was here before Europeans came. Don't know how long it's got left. It's an old tree now. Hold in a hollow, let's go in and have a look. This is me, and this is me, inside the big tree. Um, don't know how safe it is, probably not supposed to be here, uh, but so far I'm still alive. But if you were to start cutting that down by hand, you may not survive. The video doesn't really show you how big this thing is. It's a monster, take my word for it. And they all used to be like this. Hundreds and hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of square acres of these all over the southwest. And they cut down virtually every one of them. But they have been allowed to regenerate. Some places are now national park. And there is still some logging going on. See the trucks on the road. But hopefully things are better managed now than they were in the past. Because the, within a hundred years it, it was almost all gone. They must have thought they'd never cut that down. But they did. Especially when it became mechanised and they just bulldozed them. Here's a crazy little place. This is called Gnomesville. Let's find out why. Gnomes everywhere. Started off with one gnome about 50 years ago and everybody just comes along and puts gnomes. Weird or what? On and on it goes. Now it's a tourist attraction. Some people put whole, whole families of gnomes down. Little pink heads with names on them all. The Pinkerton family. I don't know who you are. But now, you're on YouTube. Bonkers. Still it goes on. On and on and on. Away through the trees. The old uh, GoPro went flat, so I guess that's the universe trying to tell me that it's time to wind up the video, which I will do right at the side of the Collie River. Brian's ready for a sleep in the shed, and I'm ready for a beer. Now he's done a good little job today, out and about, done some good tracks. Um, I would strongly recommend that you um, stick within your ability levels. Or you could um, come across. So if you like this video, please subscribe and um, help out the channel. And um, 
we'll get another mini adventure done and um, pretty soon.